for a dull moment. Mind flare. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. What's going on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. Is it malfunctioning? It looks slightly dangerous. A hand? Anyone? doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Deep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. That magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favour. 